Welcome to College Basketball on the SEC Network. Live from Lexington, Kentucky and legendary Rupp Arena. I'm Paul Sunderland joined by former Ole Miss head coach Andy Kennedy. The Kentucky Wildcats back at number one for the seventh time under Coach Cal as they face the Purple Aces of the University of Evansville for the very, very first time. And Andy, one thing that's very consistent at the University of Kentucky is a lot of change year in, year out. There's going to certainly be turnover, Paul. You see right there, great crew last year led by three first rounders. So what do you do? You reload if you're Kentucky, the number three rated national class in the country, add a fifth year senior in Nate Sestina, and then you couple them with a solid core of returning cats. The starting lineup for Kentucky, Ashton Higgins will be at the point. Nate Sestina, the transfer out of Bucknell. Khalil Whitney, Nick Richards will be there as well along with Emmanuel Quickly. And uh, Tyrese Maxey will come off the bench. E.J. Montgomery will miss his second straight game. And there is John Calipari beginning his 11th season here on the sideline for the Wildcats. 30-7 and seven last year to the Elite Eight, his fifth 30-win season for the now Naismith Hall of Famer as of 2018. And on the other sideline, a very familiar and very popular face and name. Walter McCarty won a national championship here for Kentucky in 1996. Spent 10 years in the NBA, started his coaching career at Louisville the last several years. Really good first 20 minutes for the visitors from Evansville. Taking on the number one team in the nation. And how about Sam Cunliffe? Started at Arizona State, then to Kansas. Now in Evansville, goes for 15 points in the first half against the University of Kentucky. At the break, Evansville, the Purple Aces, playing like five aces up 34-30 over Kentucky. Now let's go to the studio with Dari Noka and Pat Bradley for the Halftime Report. College basketball coming your way once again on the SEC Network from Rupp Arena. And the Evansville Purple Aces playing the number one ranked Kentucky Wildcats. The first ever meeting between these two teams and Evansville on top 34-30. Back with Andy Kennedy, I'm Paul Sunderland. Your thoughts on a very must be surprising first half. Great start for Evansville. Walter McCarty's got to be proud that the guys followed the script and made play. Sam Cunliffe's been yeah. the story of the first half without question. And then Kentucky awfully loose with the ball. Sam Cunliffe, though, if we've talked about the entire first half, best player on the floor. Started out in transition, got a, got a pitch to the wing to knock down a three. He is driving his matchup. He's gone inside, he's gone outside. He's really shown us the whole package. And then Kentucky, 11 first half turnovers for a group that only averages 14 for the game. That coupled with early foul trouble to Nick Richards and Nate Sestina, all of a sudden, you've got a ball game. Nick Richards coming off a double-double, only had two free throws in the first 20 minutes. So look at the field goals. Evansville outshot, outplayed Kentucky through the first 20 minutes. It was a Kentucky free throw shooting, 10 of 12 from the line that kept him in it. And they really buckled down defensively over the last four or five possessions. Tremendous upset win for Evansville over Kentucky, 67 to 64. Let's send it over to Tennessee, taking on Murray State. But for right now, let's send it to the studio. <laughs> 